Welcome to the Florida Department of Transportation's Community Open House. This meeting provides updates on the Downtown Tampa Interchange Safety and Operational Improvements Project, including the proposed design modifications to the interchange, results of the community input on aesthetic enhancements and community spaces, and information on other FDOT projects. This meeting is being conducted in accordance with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. FDOT has continued to engage the community as projects have moved into construction. In spring 2022, the department held community conversations with adjacent neighborhoods to share project information and receive feedback on the proposed improvements, including aesthetics, enhancements to underpasses, landscaping, uses for community spaces, opportunities for public art, and non-interstate projects by FDOT and the City of Tampa. As part of the feedback FDOT received from the community, a perimeter wall is planned to be installed behind the Tampa Heights Community Garden. This will provide separation and help reduce the visibility of traffic on the exit ramp from southbound I-275 to downtown Tampa. Consistent with adjacent interstate projects, the new MSE retaining walls facing the community in Tampa Heights and Ybor City Historic Districts will include the brick X pattern. FDOT also received feedback on enhancing safety and aesthetics at underpasses. FDOT plans to add fencing at the top of the paved sloped areas at the underpasses located at 7th Avenue, Columbus Drive, and Nebraska Avenue to limit access and reduce trash accumulation. The fencing proposed will be a black fence. Based on the feedback received at the 2022 Community Conversations and additional outreach efforts, FDOT heard from the community their desire for a 14-foot noise barrier along Robles Park. This noise barrier will tie into noise barriers being constructed along I-275 as part of the current project under construction. Landscape will be completed following construction and FDOT will work to preserve existing pine trees and also add new vegetation. After FDOT met with communities in spring 2022 and received feedback on hardscape aesthetics, a survey was developed and distributed to adjacent community members to further refine previous input related to underpass fencing, aesthetic treatments at Palm Avenue, ways to utilize community spaces, and aesthetics for retaining walls along Elmore Avenue. FDOT provided different options for fencing that will be located at the top of the gravity walls at Palm Avenue, 14th Street, 15th Street, Florabraska Avenue, Lake Avenue, Chelsea Street, and Osborne Avenue. The selected option was the flat top picket fence. The renderings shown illustrate examples of how the improvements, including the extended wall height of eight feet and new five foot flat top picket fencing will look at Florabraska Avenue, Chelsea Street and Lake Avenue shown to the left and Osborne Avenue shown to the right. These design changes help limit access, enhancing safety and the pedestrian experience. Additional underpass improvements include staining the exterior bridge beams existing in new bridge piers and slope pavement, providing sidewalks, and limiting visibility of trash collected on sloped areas. Similar to the underpasses along I-275, the underpass renderings for 14th Street on the left and 15th Street on the right illustrate the proposed aesthetic improvements, including the 8-foot gravity walls that will have the 5-foot flat top picket fence located at the top. The updated design will limit access, enhance safety, and provide an improved pedestrian experience. At Palm Avenue, FDOT asked the community if a smooth finish or brick finish was preferred for the gravity walls. Brick was selected as shown in the rendering. The improvements also include the five foot flat top picket fencing at the top of the gravity wall. As part of the ongoing I-275 capacity improvements project under construction, and in the upcoming downtown Tampa interchange project, new MSE or retaining walls will be constructed along Elmore Avenue. A portion of the existing wall will remain in place as it is today, from Florabraska Avenue to Robles Street. This section will be restained from the existing neutral color to a brick red color. Additionally, a brick knee wall will be added along the bottom of the wall as shown on the left of the graphic. To the south along Elmore Avenue from Robles Street to Columbus Drive, the reconstructed retaining wall will have a brick X pattern finish. Landscaping is also planned along the wall. FDOT has been working with the community to determine the best use for community spaces in Tampa Heights, Historic Ebor, and VM Ebor that will be constructed as part of the Downtown Interchange Project. At previous outreach meetings and through an online survey, 
the community identified dog parks as the preferred use at each community space location. FDOT is seeking additional feedback on another feature for each location. Use the QR code to provide your input or visit the website. As the project design is finalized, the contractor and FDOT will develop the layout of each community space. The next section of the presentation will provide information on proposed changes to the Downtown Tampa Interchange roadway design. Note the proposed changes are for the Downtown Tampa Interchange Safety and Operational Improvements Project for the southbound I-275 to eastbound I-4 improvements for FPN 445057-1. The proposed modifications would not require any additional right-of-way from what has already been acquired. FDOT has been engaging the community on plans for the Downtown Tampa Interchange or the I-275 I-4 Interchange for many years, including neighborhoods, stakeholders, and elected officials to identify the safety and operational improvements which are now funded for construction. This exhibit shows the previously approved concept to address safety and traffic operations. This exhibit illustrates the proposed design changes that can be completed within the existing right-of-way. In the following slides, the newly proposed design changes will be described in detail. One of the benefits to design-build contracting is the opportunity for contractors and designers to bring innovative ideas or modifications to preliminary designs that can ultimately create a better project for the roadway users and community. As part of the design build process, the Downtown Tampa Interchange contractor proposed these design modifications that are currently being evaluated. The previous concept shown on the left included widening the existing flyover bridge from southbound I-275 to eastbound I-4 and relocating the exit to Ybor City from 21st and 22nd Streets to 14th and 15th Streets. The design change being proposed that is shown on the right includes constructing a new two-lane flyover bridge to the inside of the interchange that drivers will use to access eastbound I-4. The existing one-lane flyover bridge is proposed to remain one lane, which drivers will use to access Ybor City and East Tampa via the relocated exit to 14th and 15th Streets. The design change also includes constructing an auxiliary lane along eastbound I-4 to the inside between I-275 and the Selman Expressway exit, which is proposed to be two lanes. An auxiliary lane is an extra lane added between interchange on and off ramps. It provides an efficient way to move into and out of traffic while lessening congestion in the through lanes. The remainder of the improvements to the project are the same as originally proposed, which include widening the existing one lane 13th Avenue to two lanes, improving access to 21st and 22nd streets, widening westbound I-4 to northbound I-275 ramp from one to two lanes, and providing an additional merge lane on northbound I-275 to north of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard exit. Lastly, the improvements will widen the westbound I-4 to southbound I-275 exit from two to three lanes, and widened shoulders will be constructed on southbound I-275 from Palm Avenue to Jefferson Street. Drivers will use the proposed new flyover bridge located to the inside of the interchange to access eastbound I-4, entering on the inside of eastbound I-4, enhancing traffic operations. By constructing a new bridge instead of widening the existing flyover, as was previously proposed, the number of detours is anticipated to be drastically reduced, keeping lanes open and reducing the changes in traffic patterns. The proposed auxiliary lane to be constructed to the inside of eastbound I-4 will begin at I-275 and continue to the Selman Connector exit. This exit is proposed to become two lanes, with one being a choice lane, meaning drivers can use this lane to exit or continue on eastbound I-4. In addition to roadway improvements, the project also includes aesthetic enhancements, such as shared use path connections, widened sidewalks, underpass enhancements, upgraded and new lighting, signs, landscaping, and traffic signals. Aesthetics will match the existing and be constructed as previously proposed. New noise and visual barriers are planned as part of the project and will match the existing barriers with dental detail and a slope top. Along the new exit ramp location to 14th and 15th streets, an eight-foot visual barrier will be installed. As part of the design changes that are proposed, the noise barriers will be further analyzed. However, they're not expected to change based on the proposed design modifications. The schedule shown denotes next steps with the environmental re-evaluation and documentation. Work on the System Interchange Modification Report, or SIMR, which includes the traffic analysis related to the proposed ramp changes and the addition of the auxiliary lane on eastbound I-4, is ongoing. 
When complete, it will be submitted to FDOT Central Office and FHWA for approval. Approval is anticipated in late 2023. Re-evaluation of the Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement, or SEIS, which includes design changes in the simmer, will evaluate and document impacts associated with the design changes being proposed. The project team anticipates this will be submitted in late 2023, with approval expected in early 2024. Preliminary construction activities on already approved project elements will begin this spring, with more significant work starting in the summer. Please note that the construction activities for the proposed changes cannot begin until these design changes and the documentation has been approved. FDOT has additional projects in the community that include local roadway improvements that will be further detailed in the following slides. The I-275 Capacity Improvements Project began in October 2021 and is widening both to the inside and outside along the corridor to construct one general use lane from north of I-4 to north of Hillsborough Avenue. In addition, the project is constructing wide outside shoulders, noise barriers, aesthetic treatments, pedestrian improvements, and installing new lighting at underpasses. To learn more about construction activities and traffic alerts, sign up using the link or QR code on the screen. The Heights Mobility Project is planned to be completed in phases. Design for the improvements along Tampa Street and Florida Avenue, shown in blue, is underway. Grant funding is pending approval. Construction is anticipated to begin in summer 2024 and be completed in early 2027. Design for the improvements shown in yellow is anticipated to begin this summer. Construction is anticipated to begin in summer 2025 and be completed in early 2028. In addition to roadway improvements, both projects will include pedestrian crossings. The typical sections illustrated show the interim conditions for both Tampa Street and Florida Avenue on the top. Both typical sections include three travel lanes and sidewalks. The future conditions will convert one of the travel lanes on both Tampa Street and Florida Avenue to a transit lane. As part of the 2022 Spring Community Conversations with East Tampa, FDOT received feedback on the community's desire for improved pedestrian connectivity and safety improvements. To improve mobility, sidewalks along Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard from Nebraska Avenue to 40th Street have been widened by converting the utility strips from grass to concrete. The work is ongoing and will be completed as materials become available. At Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and 22nd Street, the northbound left turn lane was extended and an additional signal head was added, which provides a left turn signal phase. Construction is anticipated to be complete in spring 2023 at 40th Street and Melbourne Boulevard, an additional southbound left turn lane was added, providing dual lefts. An additional signal head was also added for this movement. Construction is anticipated to be complete in spring 2023. At 40th Street and Columbus Drive, the southbound left turn lane was extended to provide additional storage. Construction is anticipated to be complete in spring 2023. Along Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard at 12th Street, 96 total crashes occurred from 2017 to 2021. FDOT is looking at short-term and long-term improvements to help reduce crashes. Short-term improvements include installing a concrete divider along Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard to remove left turns onto 12th Street and to remove the through movement. These improvements are anticipated to be completed this spring. Long-term improvements include installing a traffic signal at this intersection that will allow for restoring the left turn and through movements in a safer condition. Funding for these improvements is currently pending. Additional safety measures are planned at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Taliaferro Avenue intersection, where 132 total crashes occurred from 2017 to 2021. To address safety, FDOT plans to extend the eastbound, and westbound left turn lanes to provide additional storage for turning vehicles for improved operations. FDOT also plans to improve the visibility of the traffic signal head indicators for the vehicles traveling on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and those exiting I-275. Additional signal heads will be installed to accommodate the left turn lane extensions and ground mounted signals will be installed near the sides of the roadway for improved visibility. Hardened center lines will be constructed for pedestrian crossings at North Marguerite Street and Taliaferro Avenue. These improvements are being completed as part of the I-275 Capacity Improvements Project that is currently in construction. FDOT is analyzing four corridors in East Tampa to identify both short-term and long-term aesthetic enhancements and safety improvements. 
The study is planned to begin in January 2023 and be completed in early 2024. As part of the study, FTOT will conduct public engagement to obtain input from the community. Onboard Tampa Bay is District 7's local workforce development initiative with the mission to build a large pipeline of local resources to support contractors and build economic opportunity throughout Tampa Bay. Through meaningful community engagement and partnerships, FDOT will connect our local communities to the thousands of construction jobs that will be part of infrastructure improvements in the coming years. OnboardTampaBay.com is a website that not only shares key information about the program, but serves as a communication portal for job seekers, contractors, and community partners. Job seekers can search job opportunities and apply for jobs. Contractors will post job openings, and community partners can connect with job seekers that may need support services. FDOT is partnering with the City of Tampa and Hillsborough County to host an open house job fair and business expo scheduled for February 21st, 2023 at the Julian B. Lane Riverfront Park in Tampa. The morning session will focus on job seeker opportunities and the afternoon session will focus on how business owners can work with FDOT, the City of Tampa, or Hillsborough County. There's no cost for participation. Use the QR code to register or drop into the event and register on site. As construction activities begin on the downtown Tampa interchange, it's important to stay up to date on work activities, detours, or closures. Sign up using the QR code or visit fdottampabay.com and search the project. Remember to be safe when driving and to move over a lane for emergency vehicles that are stopped on the roadside helping motorists. If you can't move over safely, please slow down. Thank you for learning more about these FDOT projects and initiatives. For participants that are in person, please provide any comments to staff at the meeting or use a comment form to provide your feedback. For virtual participants, you may provide your comments in the chat or email them to tampabaynext at dot.state.fl.us. This presentation, along with any additional materials and exhibits, are available at the links on the screen.